Good evening, good evening. Happy Monday. Today is Monday, January 23rd, 2023. We are 23 days into this new year. Today we observe and commemorate National Pie Day and National Handwriting Day. Being that this is the fourth week of the month, we are commemorating Children's Week, Courtesy Week, and Storytelling Week. For the month, we celebrate uh, National Book Blitz Month, National Bath Safety Month, National Blood Donor Month, National Braille Literacy Month, and National Glaucoma Awareness Month, just to name a few things that we observe and commemorate in the month of January. Having said that, with Valentine's Day on the horizon, I thought that I would show you some red jewelry today. So we're going to go ahead on and get started. The very first thing that I have for you this evening is called Colorfully contagious it is a beautiful red hoop that features pink and green in the uh, color block and pink and white colorfully contagious this is a two inch hoop this is a lightweight post item number 134 is called colorfully contagious everything this evening is five dollars and forty cents each Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me this evening. It is always a pleasure to see you here. Hi, Wanisha. Thank you for coming in with me this evening. The next thing that I have is a pair of lightweight wood red earrings. These are called Tahiti Tankini. Tahiti Tankini. And as you can see, it is a lightweight wood with like a lattice work going on, a very nice scalloped and sculptured design, interfaced and connected to standard fish hook fittings, four pierced ears. This is item number 136. 136, and these beauties are called Tahiti Tankini Red Earrings. Item number 136. Welcome, 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 Trina. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. It's always a pleasure to see you. Okay. Item number 135. My number flipped off, so I went to 136. So I'm going to come back, pick up 135, which is a beautiful pair of red earrings from the Simply Santa Fe collection. These beauties are called Fanciful droplets, and it's a beautiful red teardrop earring with the cracked marble stone set in an antique artisanal design teardrop silver frame interfaced and connected to standard fish hook fittings for pierced ears. These are called fanciful droplets in red. Aren't they gorgeous? Love those. Item number 135, fanciful droplets in red. Okay. Item number 136, we're going to switch up and we're going to move over to showing you some necklaces now. 137, I'm sorry. 137 is check your coordinates. Check your coordinates in red. This is a three layered uh, corded, this is a nylon corded. Um, necklace and it has three layers it features elongated ovals some a flat surface to have a different affect and a whole different vibe and texture it features an adjustable clasp closure that much of an extender comes with a beautiful pair of matching silver earrings this is item number 137 137 check your coordinates in red isn't that cute very versatile and it is very casual as well okay item number 138 
It's Party Like a Princess Red Necklace. This is from the Fiercely Fifth Avenue collection. And this is so feminine, so delicate. Look at this simple silver uh, necklace that features these beautifully ruby red rhinestones to give this a lot of affect and integrity. Isn't that very nice and feminine? Look at those beautiful matching earrings. Hey, Francois, thank you for, for joining me this evening. This is absolutely beautiful. It's called Party Like a Princess Red Necklace. Very, very uh, simple, sweet, and to the point. Lays like that below your collar. Those red ruby gemstones really make a beautiful uh, statement. And, of course, the earrings are small, but they, too, are interfaced to standard fishhook fittings for pierced ears. This is item number 138, and it is called Party Like a Princess Necklace in Red. Item number 138. Very nice. And that is from my Fiercely Fifth Avenue collection. Item number 139 is a vintage necklace. It is red, very soft and feminine from the Magnificent Musings Collection. It is called Let Your Heart Shine. So we have this front buttonhole loop closure necklace that features a beautiful red gemstone at the bottom. And if the frame, a silver frame that houses a red gemstone in the shape of a heart. And the earrings match the pendulum on the heart. This is item number 139. 139. This is called Let Your Heart Shine. Very nice. Very sweet. Isn't that beautiful? 139. Let Your Heart Shine. Very nice. Item number 140 is Ice Versa. And the Ice Versa is a red rectangular shaped glassy see-through necklace that uh, mimics each side mimics the other. And then we have the oversized um, rectangular, square rectangular uh, glass piece in the center that connects to the others. I have this extended all the way out Lace below your collar like that. And it comes with a beautiful pair of matching earrings that are in that uh, um, same shape as the pieces in the necklace. Some are small, some are medium, and then we have the largest one in the center since that is the palette. This is called Ice Versa. This is a beautiful red necklace. It features an adjustable clasp closure. And as I indicated, I have it extended all the way out so that you can see it in its full entirety. This is called Ice Versa, item number 140. Item number 140. I hope that you had a great day today. These past few days have been very trying for me, I tell you. This past week has been most difficult. Okay, so up next we have the intensely industrial red necklace where we have a collision and a myriad of silver chains and red chains. And this is like a, a dark red in that beautiful. It features an adjustable clasp closure. I have it extended out quite a bit. But it's a short necklace, too. Comes with a beautiful pair of matching chain link earrings that feature the silver chains intercommingled with the red. Item number 141. And this is called Intensely Industrial Red Necklace. Isn't that nice? Item number 141. Now, the um, piece of wrist candy that I chose to accessorize that is none other than this beautiful pour me another uh, red bracelet. We have a collision of silver chains that features a couple of red rhinestone chains in there to give it a little fa flavor and pizzazz. It is a um, chain link, a class closure bracelet that features that much of an extender right there. 
I wouldn't go past a seven and a half wrist for the full effects of it. This is item number 142. Pour me another red bracelet. Isn't that nice? Thought you might like that. Okay, item number 143 is a beautiful pair of earrings that are called Tamaric Trail. It is a three-cylinder shaped uh, soft weight, lightweight wood that has a spindle through it that interfaces and connects to a standard fisher fitting. It is a very beautiful, intellectual pair of red earrings, a lot of flavor, a lot of pizzazz, and a lot of character. Item number 143, Tamaric Trail Red Earrings. Item number 144 is the so popular red necklace. And this is a longer necklace that features a red teardrop that is interfaced and connected to a longer silver chain. It features an adjustable clasp closure with that much of an extender. And it comes with a pair of red beaded earrings that are identical to the uh, teardrop in the necklace. This is called So Popular Red Necklace. This is item number 144. 144. Very nice. Very sweet. Item number 145 is a beautiful necklace that is called Sonata Swing. As you can see, look at that artisanal design on that silver frame that houses that red gemstone that sits right in the middle of all that beauty. It is interfaced and connected to a silver chain. It comes with a small pair of red rhinestone earrings that are set in silver frame caps, interfaced and connected to standard fisher fittings. This is item number 145. It's called Sonata Swing, and it is from the Simply Santa Fe collection. I have it um, pulled in some. Let me release it so that you can kind of get an idea of the length. It is a longer necklace. I pulled it in because I wanted it to fit on the easel. But that is that beautiful medallion. And those are those fabulous earrings. We have that much of an extender with an adjustable clasp closure. This is item number 145. 145. And this is called the Sonata Swing. Isn't that fabulous? Very nice. Okay. And we're going to move on to item number 146, which is a fascinating piece of wrist candy that I chose to accessorize the Sonata Swing. And it is called Stargazing Sparkle. It is a clasp closure bracelet that features the red gemstones. We have some silver uh, openings set in there, as well as some hematite rhinestone pieces, just some open face silver pave to give it flavor, definition, and character. It features an adjustable clasp closure. This is called the Stargazing Sparkle Bracelet in red, item number 146. 146. Okay. Item number 147 is called Coupe de Main. And this is a red necklace. Very sleek, sweet, and petite. This comes from the, um, the, um, collection that we find on the streets of Chicago, Magnificent Musings. We have these red bars 
that are framed in silver. And right in the center, we have a conglomerate of um, hematite rhinestones that are set to give it a little flavor and a different intensity when the light uh, refracts off of it. It comes with a pair of small hematite rhinestone earrings that are interfaced and connected to standard fish-up fittings for pierced ears. This is called Coupe de Main in red. It features an adjustable clasp closure, lays like that below your collar. Very nice, very feminine from the Magnificent Musings collection. Item number 147, Coupe de Main in red. Very nice. Item number 148 is She Went West. She Went West is a beautiful, beautiful um, necklace from the Simply Santa Fe collection. She Went West. We have the cracked red marble stone that is set in these elaborate antique silver settings that has a lot of attention to detail around the circumference of each of the frames. Each side mirrors the other. And of course, we have the largest piece in the center, which is the focal point or the palette of the necklace. This is called She Went West. Lays like that below your collar. And these are cracked red marble stones that are uh, set and framed in the silver. Comes with an adjustable clasp closure that much of an extender so it can be lengthened and the earrings are identical to the pieces that are found in the necklace they are smaller set in red frames the same intensity as those on the pieces in the uh, palette of the necklace and they are interfaced and connected to standard fish hook fittings for pierced ears this is called she went west this is a beautiful red necklace, item number 148. 148, okay. Item number 149 is a mesmerizing red necklace. It's called Double Defaced in red. And we have all these shapes that come together to form this beautiful, beautiful uh, palette. The legs like that below your collar, set in silver frames, interfaced and connected to an adjustable clasp closure that has that much of an extender on the necklace so it can be lengthened. And look at those mesmerizing earrings that feature one of the designs in the palette of this beautiful necklace. This is item number 149, 149. And this beautiful necklace is called Double Defaced in Red. Isn't she fabulous? Look at her. Very, very nice. Item number 149, Double Defaced in Red. Okay. Item number 150 this evening is a very fascinating very attractive cuff bracelet from the Simply Santa Fe collection. It is called Blooming Oasis. Blooming Oasis. And as you can see, it is over the wrist cuff bracelet that features a beautiful teardrop that you can wear inverted or turn the other way. Look at the attention to detail on each side of that cuff. And around the frame that houses this beautiful red cracked marble stone. Look at the attention to detail of those nail heads and spirals. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely mesmerizing. This is Blooming Oasis, item number 150. Item number 150, Blooming Oasis. Okay, we're gonna keep moving and doing what we do here. Item number 151 is a very cute 
Blooming Buttercups multi red bracelet 151 and we have four stretchable bracelets here and we have a row of silver with the floral disc in there then we have another silver with elongated discs that have a very nice sheen then we have these beautiful colors red a pale blue and a pale grayish white then we have just a strand of red so all four of these are 540 this is item number 150 it's called blooming buttercups hint the floral pattern in the silver bracelet here and this is a four piece set 540 item number 151 blooming buttercups 151. Okay. Item number 152 is called Flirty Fox Trot. This is a beautiful, simple red necklace that features red beadings and uh, hammered out and smooth silver oval discs that are connected together to form this elongated red necklace. It features an adjustable clasp closure with that much of an extender. It comes with a pair of red beaded earrings that are interfaced and connected to standard fishhook fittings. And just for the sake of it, if you wanted to, you could wear this baby doubled. And I'm just gonna double it on this easel so that you can see what I mean. Isn't that beautiful? Item number 152, Flirty Fox Trot in red. Flirty, flirty Fox Trot in red. You can wear it as a long, simple chain, or you can choose to double it. Very nice, very different. Item number 152. Item number 153 this evening. Excuse me. It's called Tassel Trippin'. This is one of a kind pair of earrings that feature the red threaded tassels. They're interfaced and connected to this beautiful um, crescent shape that eclipses into a post. Very nice. One of a kind, one and done. Item number 153, tassel tripping in red. 153, tassel tripping in red. Okay, item number 154 is called Fearlessly Ferocious. And Fearlessly Ferocious is from the Simply Santa Fe collection. We have what I call these flares or fanfares that feature this beautiful pattern in silver that houses a beautiful red stone in a phase and connects to a, an adjustable class closure. It has that much of an extender. Comes with a pair of matching red earrings. This is called Fearlessly Ferocious in Red. This is item number 154. Item number 154. And these were released last month. Item number 154. Okay. Item number 155 is going to be from, again, from the Simply Santa Fe collection. And this particular necklace is called Ruler of the Roost. Ruler of the Roost. As you can see, we have a conglomerate of feathers. We have like this beautiful frame that houses a cracked red marble stone in the center, it interfaces and connects to a silver chain. It features silver discs. Some are smooth. Some are surrounded with nail heads. Very cute and an intricate design. Features an adjustable clasp closure. Has that much of an extender, so it can be extended. And the earrings are larger silver discs of what connects the palette to the chain, like right here. And they are interfaced and connected to standard fish hook fittings 
four pierced ears. This is item number 155. 155. This is called Ruler of the Roost. Ruler of the Roost. 155. Very nice. Okay. Item number 156. It's called Metal Wedding Red Necklace. And this is so cute. Look at this. We have a beautiful red moonstone that is set in an antique artisanal design silver frame. And these frames feature white rhinestones that exude around the circumference of each stone. There is a total of five frames that are threaded along a silver chain, interfaced and connected to an adjustable clasp closure that features that much of an extender and comes with a small white pair of rhinestone earrings that are set and capped in silver frames. Item number 156. 156. And this beautiful necklace is called Meadow Wedding Red Necklace, item number 156. Very nice, very, very nice. Okay, we have about four minutes left. So I should be able to get one more thing in. And I want to um, talk about this wrap bracelet a little bit. This is a beautiful wrap bracelet. This is a red uh, suede band that features a conglomerate of uh, sequins and rhinestones and chains. It's called Dangerous, Dangerously Drama Queen. It is a wrap bracelet. It features snaps. So you put it on your wrist. Just going to show you right quick what it looks like the tag on. I think I should be able to snap it by myself at least once. Forgive the tag, but that's the way it looks on your wrist. Isn't that nice? This is called Dangerously Drama Queen, item number 157. 157. Beautiful red wrap bracelet. Dangerously Drama Queen, 157. And the last thing that I'm going to show you this evening is this Peace Out red uh, cracked marble bracelet. It's stretchable, fits over your wrist. Very nice. A lot of attention to detail. This is going to be item number 158 this evening. 158. And that's the beautiful Peace Out stretchable bracelet. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me this evening. Juanisha, Trina, Francois, hey Chantel, thank you so much for coming in with me this evening. Hey Christina, thank you so much for joining me. You like my earrings? Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is one of uh, Papi, paparazzi's pairs of earrings. You know, I love earrings. Hey, Chris. Thank you so much, brother, for joining me this evening. Thank you, thank you. I got two of my brothers with me, Chris and Francois. So thank you so much for joining me this evening. It's always a pleasure. Look, I want to ask you all to do me a favor this evening. Um, on the Martin Luther King holiday, one of my nephews suffered a massive stroke while he was driving his vehicle in Columbus, Georgia. And, um, you know, it's he sustained uh, injuries from the stroke. His car was totaled, but he's still here. So his name is John Hinton. I just ask that each of you join me in prayer for him and his daughter and the rest of our family. I thank you so much for your patience with me. These last couple of weeks have been very difficult as I've been having to, you know, maneuver and uh, assist my family. So I thank you for your patience with these shows. I thank you for being here with me this evening. And I'm just getting to a point where I can say it out loud. So 
he's getting better, and I thank God for that, and I appreciate your support. My prayer remains one and the same. Until we meet again, I ask Father God to hold each one of us in the palm of his hand. Hey, Annette, thank you so much for joining me this evening. It's always a pleasure to come before you guys. And so for the next couple of days, I'm going to stay on the red jewelry because I want to show you what I have to offer you for the Valentine's Day season since that is the next big holiday. Okay, so come on and join me if you can tomorrow evening. I would be very glad to have you. And if you know a word of prayer, please pray for us at this time as we navigate this new territory that we're having to deal with, okay? So thank you all for joining me. Have a good evening. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Take care. Be blessed.